In preparation for their semi-final encounter against Australia on Wednesday, when the country will come to a complete stop at 11am to watch them take on the World Cup hosts, the Lionesses returned to practice right away today. At the Central Coast Stadium in Gosford on Sunday, members of the England team were spotted working out. The Prince and Princess of Wales and David Beckham watched England's rousing 2-1 victory against Colombia in their quarter-final encounter from a distance as they triumphed. The Big One, a spot in the World Cup final against either Sweden or Spain, is what they have to look forward to this week if they can defeat the hosts in Sydney on their home pitch. Millions of viewers are anticipated to tune into BBC One to support the Lionesses as they attempt to repeat their historic victory in the Euros from the previous year. Due to the time difference, games are often shown early in the morning, but because of the mid-morning time slot, bars are expecting large numbers. Also anticipated to be out in full form are the 87,000 Australians who reside in the UK. The Matildas are rated no. 10 in the world, while England is ranked no. 4, making the Lionesses the apparent favourite to win the match. However, the home crowd at Stadium Australia will try its best to upset that expectation. The England striker Lauren Hemp, who scored the opening goal against Colombia, stated, We know if we play at our best, we are unstoppable. It was a rocky start for the Lionesses despite the presence of many England supporters carrying banners with the slognits coming home on them in the stands. Lisi Santos lob just before halftime allowed Colombia's Coffee Girls to take a 1-0 lead over England's Magic Mary Ups. The custodian for Colombia Catalina Perez lost the ball in the six-yard area, setting up Hemp's equaliser seven minutes later in injury time to close the first half. Nevertheless, Alessia Russo's game-winning goal gave the squad the victory in the end. George Stanway's through pass ricocheted off a Colombian defender and into Russo's path, and she pounced giving custodian Perez no chance as she fired into the bottom corner of the net. In the squad's four tournament games prior to yesterday's quarter-final, Arsenal striker Russo, who had only scored once, stated, This team always finds a way. The Colombians were challenging, as coach Sarina Wiegman recognised after the game, calling it a very tough challenge. With such a challenging squad, she said that the second half was hard, but she went on to say, I am so proud of the team. If we had been better, we could have finished the game a little earlier. After the win, England players, notably Chloe Kelly, a renowned striker, and Alex Greenwood, a midfielder, were spotted comforting some of the distraught young Colombians and exchanging shirts with them. But the delighted group continued to rejoice on the pitch as Hemp was hugged with pleasure by former player and pundit Ian Wright, a promoter of women's football. He wasn't the only famous person to express joy at the Lionesses' victory. The Prince and Princess of Wales, who are both avid sports fans, congratulated the squad on their incredible victory on Twitter by writing. Bring on the semi-finals. Congrats to the Lionesses on their valiant victory. While spending the summer in Miami, 
Beckham watched the game in the wee hours and posted on Instagram about his happiness. Additionally, he sent an emoji of clapping hands for Russo, who has grown to be a close friend. Also attending the celebration was Labour leader Sergio Starmer, who posted on social media, great team effort from the at the rate lionesses. Tenacity in performance. All attention are now focused on the semi-final. It is returning home. The fact that Australia's route to the semi-final has been far more difficult may give the Lionesses encouragement. After extra time, their quarter-final encounter against France remained scoreless. In a thrilling penalty shootout, the Matildas prevailed 7-6 in the end. Lauren James, who was sent from the game against Nigeria last week for stomping on a rival player, will be one person who will be fervently praying that England defeats Australia in the semi-final. She was suspended for two games, so if England makes it to the final, she will be able to play against Sweden or Spain.